In the last hour, um, our colleagues in Germany are telling us that Bayern Munich want to submit a new offer, want being the key word here, because they've not done that as of yet. Now, we understand from our colleagues in Germany, the offer is 110 million euros, which is 94.6 million pounds. Personally, I still don't think that would be enough for, to convince or tempt Daniel Levy. What we also know is uh, Harry Kane is leaning towards staying at Tottenham Hotspur. As we've reported, uh, Tottenham Hotspur want to keep him. Of course they do. He's leaning towards staying at the club. He's focused on Spurs and it's business as usual. And of course, what he said over the last, what we understand over the last couple of weeks as well, is that he wants to get this sorted. He's got a young family and he wants to get this sorted before the season opener at Brentford on Sunday. Uh, OK, so that's Harry Kane. Um, Harry Maguire's future also appears uncertain, Dumish, but could things maybe be becoming clearer? Yeah, look, uh, talks are continuing between Manchester United and West Ham United over the potential signings of Harry Maguire and of Scott McTominay. Remember yesterday, West Ham United went in with £30 million bids for each player. It's not a double deal. They're separate deals. £30 million for Harry Maguire, £30 million for Scott McTominay. It's understood that West Ham United are closer to a compromise with United over Harry Maguire's fee rather than Scott McTominay's. Now, discussions over Maguire are said to be positive. With West Ham encouraged, he appears to be open to making that move from Old Trafford to the London Stadium. Now, while negotiations are ongoing over McTominay, because of the potential big gap that exists between what West Ham are prepared to pay and what Manchester United want... We think that West Ham are looking at other options. One of those options includes the Southampton captain, James Ward-Prowse. And I'm told, do not rule out West Ham United going back in for James Ward-Prowse after having a £30 million bid rejected last month. So it looks like they're edging closer, perhaps, to a compromise on Harry Maguire. It's still a bit further away with McTominay. OK, uh, Michael, there is one midfield arrival that may be close, though. Yeah, I mean, this, they need to make some incomings now, we know, West Ham United. And Edson Alvarez, is, it sounds like an exciting one. He arrived in London uh, this morning, ahead of starting his West Ham United medical, hopeful of getting this done so he can train with his new teammates ahead of Saturday's Premier League opener against Bournemouth. Now, the deal will see West Ham pay Ajax around £32 million, plus £2 million in performance-related add-ons Personal terms agreed, so West Ham fans, you're getting closer. OK. Uh, talking about midfielders in demand, Romeo Lavia, Darmesh, what's the latest on that? Yeah, look, he's not in the squad for Southampton for their EFL Cup tie against Gillingham this evening. But he's one of a number of changes from the squad that was, you know, that beat Sheffield Wednesday on Friday night. Now, he was also an unused substitute, so he hasn't actually kicked a ball in, in competition so far this season. We do know that Liverpool have been in three times for Romeo Lavia. All three bids have been rejected. The latest bid was worth in the region of £45 million, but Southampton are standing firm. £50 million is what they want, but significantly talks are continuing between both clubs. And while talks are continuing, you would just get the impression that there is a deal to be done and maybe a willingness from those parties because they're that close to get that deal over the line. Yeah, still 24 days to go in this transfer window, remember. And a few deals have gone through today. So let's start with two at Tottenham, Michael. Yeah, obviously we talk about Harry Kane and outgoings all the time, but two incomings for Tottenham Hotspur today. And the defender, David and Darmish, they've really, really wanted Mickey van der Ven has signed a six year deal at Tottenham Hotspur. Initial fee of £34.5 million, rising to a potential £43 million, inclusive of add-ons. Now, Van der Ven is a very, very fast player. Hit speeds of 22.3 miles an hour last season. And he might need it with Tottenham really going for the attack in this year under Ange Postacoglu. Spurs have also announced in the last hour or so a striker has come in as well. Like we reported last week, Alejo Vélez from Rosario Central, subject to international clearance and a work permit. Now, this is a long contract. Agreed a deal under, until 2029. He'll wear the number 36 shirt. Here's a key, because many fans were wondering, does he get loaned back there? No, he is staying at the moment at Tottenham Hotspur. OK, and another one that we were expecting, this time at Newcastle, Michael. Yeah, this is a player Eddie Howe's liked and wanted and monitored for some time, and he's got him. Timo Livramento... Five-year deal from Southampton, a fee around £32 million. 
and adding to Harvey Barnes and Sandra Tonali, I'm sure Eddie Howe and Newcastle fans will be very happy. Yeah, so Newcastle continuing to do business and one player we know is in such sharp focus, Damish, is, is Moises Kaiseido. What, 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 what is the latest on him? Yeah, look, we understand that talks are ongoing between Chelsea and Brighton over the potential signing of Moises Kaiseido. Chelsea are expected to go back in with an improved offer. Remember, they had an £18 million bid rejected. Moises Caicedo, I'm told, has made it clear to Brighton that he does want to make the move to Stamford Bridge. Now, we're hearing that Brighton's valuation is similar to what West Ham United valued Declan Rice at, at around £100 million. But I'm told this afternoon that Chelsea haven't actually formally been told by Brighton what it would take for Moises Caicedo to move from Brighton to Chelsea. So for now, he remains a Brighton player until Brighton get a bid that they are satisfied with. 